Hey, I'm Dr. Dino Pappas. Thanks for joining me. The content of this video are my views and my views alone. They do not represent the content of any entity or agency that I can be affiliated with. The clinical question of the week is Achilles tendonitis, Achilles tendinopathy. There are three types of Achilles tendinopathy. The type of tendinopathy actually matters how you treat that. There is insertional, which occurs right here at the bottom of the Achilles non-insertional, which occurs a little bit higher up, and then peritendinitis, which occurs a little higher up in the thicker part of the Achilles. In the insertional variety, the one that attaches down here right at the bottom, aggressive stretching and aggressive strengthening, especially early, early in the process, can irritate the Achilles and prolong your rehabilitation, so we don't want to do that. But the non-insertional and the peritendinitis we do want to start progressively strengthening it and can be a little bit more aggressive and strengthening and stretching than those two varieties. So the type of Achilles tendonitis and the location matter. We're going to show you three exercises here in a little bit, but first some guidance on the exercises that are important. Tendon injuries um, have bad blood flow. Tendons in the body are notorious for having bad blood flow. Therefore, rehabilitation for a tendon should be low and slow like good barbecue. I live in Austin, Texas. Barbecue is king. You can't make barbecue too quick. It has to be low and slow, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 hours. So progressive rehabilitation over a period of four to six, four to eight months, and sometimes over a year is advised to shake a tendinopathy. When you're doing the exercises, it's okay during the exercise and emphasize during to produce pain, but it should be no worse later. What's later? 30 minutes later, 45 minutes later, an hour later. Produce pain, no worse, low and slow like good barbecue. In terms of pain, when it produces pain, pain, a level two, three, four, no more. If you're producing pain at your scale, a five out of 10, you're staying alive, monitor it. If it goes up, discontinue. If it goes down, even better. Pain, six, seven, eight, I hate. We don't want to train in that painful zone. Again, your 10 point scale, six, seven, eight out of 10. And if it's pain, 10 out of 10, never again, please do not continue the exercise and check with your healthcare provider, okay? I'm gonna take it to the wall. We're gonna show three exercises here. The first exercise is something called a multi-angle isometric. What you're gonna do is you're gonna find three angles of motion. I'm gonna start further back and I'm gonna push my toes down into the wall. I'm gonna hold it about five to 10 seconds right through here. I'm gonna come a little closer and push again about five seconds, and then even a little bit closer and push five to 10 seconds. So I'm pushing at this angle of motion, this angle of motion, and this angle of motion five to 10 seconds. Again, it's okay if it's a little bit uncomfortable, but it should not be worse later. That's multi-angle isometric, so use that in the early phases of tendon rehab. The second exercise is an eccentric. We're gonna come up with two and we're gonna come down with two feet over a course of about five to 10 seconds, nice and slow and controlled. Coming up with two, down with two over five to 10 second period. To make that harder, we would then come up with two and then down with one over five to 10 seconds. Come up with two, come down with one over five to 10 seconds. To make that even harder, we're gonna come up with one and down with one, again, up with one, and then down with one over a period of about five to 10 seconds. To progress that, we'd use a weighted backpack or weights in your hand. I've got about 10 to 15 pounds in this backpack, and I would put that on, and I'd go through the same progression on a flat surface. Up with two, down with two, to make it harder, up with two, down with one, up with one, down with one. The progression of that, when you're getting a little bit stronger, your Achilles can tolerate that, is to use the edge of a step. So you get the full range of motion where your heel goes off the edge. This will irritate an insertional tendinopathy, so slow roll this, slow progress this. If the pain is at the insertion, this point here or this point here, and it's the same process. I'm coming up with two, down with two, coming over the edge, up with two, down with two over the edge. Now I'm gonna come up with two, down with one. Here's another view, up with two, down with one, 
When you get a little further into the process, you can come up with one, down with one. Let's give you a different view. Up with one, down with one. And the last phase is use a loaded backpack here with some weight in the backpack, up with two, down with two, up with two, down with one, and then using one foot here. And that's your progression of your rehab. Please note this process shakes itself out, uh, out over several months of rehabilitation here. I'm Dr. Dino Pappas. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this content, please turn on the notifications and hit subscribe. Thanks for watching.